Yeah, I think we'll start with uh, with uh, Evan. Did you want to ask your question of the uh, the Sorry, chairman, the commissioner, uh, and the uh, executive director here with Daily News? Is that going to signal change? I know. Or did that simply codify the way things were done on the ground? Um, you know, in the interim between the last contract in 2018. Well, the uh, we we made this announcement probably a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. Uh, part of the uh, aftermath of the George Floyd. Uh, murder, uh, which was a whole series of 24 initiatives, one or three or four of them related to the police department, but this was one It uh, really was, um, we had extensive consultation with the police, but the agreement ultimately was to uh, have body worn cameras at the Port Authority Police Department, uh, and that process has been underway. Uh, a procurement to actually choose the manufacturer, choose the brand, and and uh, and acquire uh, the body worn uh, cameras themselves, as well as the infrastructure, because they get recharged each night. And so we're simply moving through that process, and we're now actually getting very close. Uh, the the cameras themselves are uh, being delivered almost as we speak, and so th they will then be distributed to the police officers and. Uh, uh, then we'll move forward on that basis. And this is following the best practices really in the region of uh, other police departments. And so just ultimately this... embedded and in, in negotiated in the contract and accepted by the, by the union members. Got it, got it. So this is the first time that, that the PBA is sort of formally in writing, including this in a contract. It, it is part of the yes, contract. contract. Yes, Thank you. Thank you very much. Very good. Next question is uh, virtual Larry Higgs with New Jersey Advanced Media. Larry? <clears throat> How are you doing? Thanks for taking my questions. Um, I have two different topics. Uh, the first one is about the union contracts. And that's basically what has changed in these contracts from the previous contracts and what is the uh, start date for officers to start wearing body cameras. My second is about PATH. When will nine car trains start since we are seeing alerts uh, saying that they're being tested currently? I'll take the second part of the uh, nine car path. So there's been uh, a series of testing going on uh, in February. There'll be, I think, all told five tests before this goes uh, into a uh, preliminary kickoff in March and April. But this will be a gradual rollout throughout the year. But there'll be a ceremonial kickoff sometime in March. Uh, Larry, I think you, your first question was actually had two parts, but could you just repeat it and I will do my best to answer it. Sure. Uh, basically, what has changed between this contract extension and the previous contract? And when will police start wearing body cameras? What's the rollout date? Well, we don't, we don't have a date for the precise rollout, but it's going to be uh, very, very shortly. As I said, the cameras are uh, in the process of being... Uh, being delivered, but uh, uh, we can get you a date uh, in a, we don't have one now, but uh, as soon as we choose one, we'll let you know. And Larry, I'm sure you heard the uh, response we gave to Evan about, this has been a conversation we've had for the last 18 months with the, uh, the PBA and other uh, folks, uh, and obviously been ratified and accepted by the board and passed by the 1,550 members. Um, so that discussion has matured into actual language embedded in the contract and accepted by both sides. So I'm looking forward to having that implemented as soon as possible. And on the uh, on the labor contracts, you may recall, Larry, that when the chairman and I arrived at the uh, Port Authority, every single collective bargaining agreement was uh, was out of date and not in force. And one of our priorities uh, early on was to I get through the negotiation and get uh, collective bargaining agreements in place. They are in place for every uh, port authority uh, and path union, but uh, time has a habit of moving along. And so uh, those first round of collective bargaining agreements are now expiring. And so what you have now and what uh, is really an important milestone is the two uh, labor agreements that uh, the board approved today are the first two of what is basically the new round of, uh, of negotiating collective bargaining agreements. These are both for two, two years, 26 months. 
uh, and uh, we are now going to continue the process of uh, negotiating with the other uh, labor union leaders to uh, again get all the way through all the contracts and have them renewed. And let me just add to that, Larry. So there's about 2,000 members that uh, have ratified and now have been adopted by the, the commissioners. Uh, we're hoping much like the first round of negotiations that the other uh, unions will have these negotiations, which they're having now and, have, and follow up on the pattern in which we've just settled. Uh, we're really encouraged by the activity and the discussions going back and forth. We're briefed uh, today by our general counsel and our labor counsel. So we're hoping to have these uh, wrapped up and hopefully in a shorter path than we did the original round of 23. Um, and, um, you know, the, the, the in terms of the period, people are asking why 26 months? And I think both sides came to the point with given the uncertainty, economic and otherwise, uh, we don't want to project too far ahead into a three, four, five year contract. So both sides determined that this 26 month period was the appropriate time, given the financial uncertainty with the financial status of where we all stand right now. Tom. All right. Next question is Matt Fazelpour with NJ Biz. Matt. Hey, guys. Thanks for uh, taking my question. Uh, you recently announced the uh, new initiative with Grid Matrix, the AI project. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that particular initiative? And also, you know, we're, AI is so much in the news now with the chat GPT headlines that are out there. How big of a, of a role do you see uh, AI playing in, you know, improving operations, efficiencies and things of that nature moving forward? Well, um, let me give you a short answer, and then I think we can put you in touch with uh, the leader of our innovation hub, who will uh, who, who could answer your question at more length. Uh, in terms of our commitment to uh, move uh, all port authority facilities and indeed our operations uh, to the highest level possible, uh, we have uh, made actually one of our codified how we do business 21st century technology and what that reflects is <clears throat> really across the agency we need to renew our commitment to constantly update the technology that we uh, that we utilize in the in the agency so the big picture uh, is a huge commitment to really all forms of uh, advanced technology uh, and the other the other major step we've taken uh, is to establish what is, we call an innovation hub. Mm -hmm. And the point of that is to identify particularly promising technologies and to move those forward with specific, with specific applications. Uh, if I go much further than that, I will be out over my skis. And so <laughs> what I would, yeah. uh, what I'd propose to you is we put you in, in touch with uh, both Derek Utter, our Chief Development Officer, as well as the head of the Innovation Hub, Seth Weiner, and you can ask uh, uh, much more detailed questions. I will add nothing to that, Matt. All right. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you, Matt. We'll follow up on that, Matt. Uh, and that concludes the Q&A. Thank, thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Okay. Appreciate you coming out. Thank you. Thank you.